Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Tuesday, the 25th of November. We're starting off with Mossman Oil and Gas, where it looks as though these multiple uh, support points on the RSI uptrend line from last month are a leading indicator on a potential new low to the upside, one, with the, one which would revive the uh, early um, summer spikes for the shares through the 40 pence level. 50-day uh, moving average has been capping the price action since uh, basically the um, early part of August. Uh, what we're looking for here really is an end of day close back above the 50-day line at 16 pence as the buy trigger. Uh, if we can get that uh, early this week or soon this week, uh, we should see follow-on moves towards the top of a rising June price channel at 30 pence. Uh, that can happen as soon as the end of December. This stage really only back below uh, this uh, October support, which is basically around the 10 pence level. Uh, on an end of day close basis would be outright negative and uh, as I said really with the uh, RSI uptrend line here uh, looking quite robust uh, a negative scenario is not really anticipated at this time. Uh, next up is Moana Africa where we have uh, what looks to be a decent consolidation here within a tight bull flag based at the uh, 200 day moving average at 2.18 pence uh, expecting a breakout here after this U-shaped uh, reversal, bear trap reversal, below the two pence level for uh, early November, and uh, really as little as an end of day close back above uh, two pound two point five pence should lead towards three to three and a half pence uh, summer resistance relatively quickly, i.e. over the following two to four weeks. Uh, next up is a stock which has been bubbling under for quite a long time, quite frustrating in a way, but uh, Scansell looks like it's finally ready for action. We had this final dip uh, to test the 200 day moving average uh, last week. Uh, failure obviously to break back and fill the gap uh, from October towards the 30 pence level, which is a big plus and probably the biggest plus of the whole configuration here. The overall progress we've seen is within a rising trend channel uh, from uh, bit of the summer of last year for the channel running red level with the 200 day moving average of 33 pence. So basically, while there's no sustained price action back below this uh, 2013 price channel floor uh, or 33 pence, we will be looking for a 50 pence target over the next, uh, let's say, six to eight weeks, something like that. Uh, finishing off with a situation which I haven't uh, uh, flagged on um, the bulletin board heroes before, but this uh, looks like a very uh, attractive situation from a charting perspective. A little bit similar to the Moana Africa situation in that we've got this uh, consolidation above uh, the 200 day moving average. In this case, um, the 200 day line is around the uh, 9.2 pence level, uh, a little gap to the upside as well. And uh, really what we all we need here is uh, uh, another end of day close or end of day close above 10 pence uh, later this week uh, to trigger possibly what would be a follow on move towards the May resistance line uh, projection at 14 pence. And obviously the risk reward on that is uh, risking less than a penny to try and make uh, three, four pence or more over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, that's it from me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.